Hi everybody and welcome to this sort of impromptu um, live. I did tell you that I wouldn't be here with this project until next week but then I got a little bit worried that I was getting ahead of you somehow and I, I, you know, I want you to be able to uh, get, get up to this stage and then we're virtually ready then to put a cover on it and uh, put it in a journal. So let's see what I've done um, with the pockets etc that we were talking about last time. So I, I did manage to square it up. You may, you may remember last time we had a bit of a debacle <laughs> over slicing this square. But I've got it square, so don't worry. <laughs> I was. I was all ready actually to throw it in the bin, and that is the truth. I can't stand things that aren't right. Um, so I was ready to chuck it in the bin and start again. But common sense prevailed, I guess. Uh, and I've got it squared up, so we're okay. It's a bit narrower than it was, probably a quarter of an inch narrower than it was. But that's not the, the end of the world. Right, okay. So we were talking about this sort of pocket and how you can have it this way on or this way on. This is the same pocket, but just made in the vertical axis. We'd already made all our beautiful um, book page uh, tags and I really really love them I think they're gorgeous um, and that fits in nicely there and this is quite pale behind there really so it, it does a good job in sitting there now I've still got room in there still a little bit of room because of the way we make our pockets we end up with quite a bit of room in there so I've been debating with myself um, I often do I often have great debates with just me me and me alone, we debate things. Sometimes out loud, actually. Uh, I've taken this piece of uh, paper, which is the complementary set that I'm using. Um, it's from My Porch Prints. And you'll know it when you see it. I can't remember what you call it, but it comes in four... The whole kit comes in four colours. Sort of sagey green, this um, rosy pink. There's a what they call turquoise, but it's a really nice... Uh, antique sort of blue and then there's one they call antiqued which is a kind of brown vintage photo type color um, for our purposes I printed off the, the blue and the pink because uh, they sort of go with with the papers that we're using of course you know you might be using completely different papers in which case you have to sort out for yourself what you need um, so I could put that in there and as you know I've got a load of um, in the kit actually came a load of these there's nine on a sheet wherever it is here it is you can see I've used some but there was nine uh, on a sheet of A4 and they call them ATC um, if you've watched Mr Fixit's video on here on YouTube uh, about resizing or printing multiple images on one page, you'll know how to do this yourself. You'll know how to get nine images up on one sheet. It's it's a good little video that, handy, worth watching. So anyway, I've cut one of those out and I was just wondering whether that might go on there. I mean, it will need a bit of titivating. Um, this is my medium sized uh, template tag template remember I was talking to you about tag templates the other day um, we've got um I've got three somewhere somewhere I have three I've got a smaller one and a larger one and this is the medium size one five and a half by three so I just cut that out I've backed it and so that's where I'm at with that so I'll pop that in there it needs sorting, you know, it's not finished. Then this one's the pocket that way on, and this is a piece of um, paper out of a 12 by 12 pad. I just cut it down that way, and I wanted it to be less tall, just for a bit of interest. So you see, it's not as tall as the page behind it. And in here, I have just got a plain journaling card, which is begging for a bit of decoration, but um, I haven't gone that far yet. And you will see at this stage that I'm using semicircles for my tags. But today, look what came. Look at that. Sparkly new. And it's the tag cutter. 
It's just, I've wanted one of these for so long, I can't tell you. And um, Hilda picked up on that and sent this to me. It was in a box full of oh, delights. She, she obviously hangs on every word I say and listens to it. And so thank you, Hilda. Thank you for everything. It was gorgeous. It was, it's fantastic. So this is our card, our pocket going that way. Now on the edge of this sheet, uh, this page, I've put some lace and I've just put a link onto the Facebook group. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you've got no idea about the group that we have, it's over on Facebook. It's called Miss Paint -a Lot's Junk Journal Group. Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> I know it's my group, but it really is the friendliest group, most supportive group I've ever come across. We're all just so kind to each other. And, and that's lovely. And you are more than welcome to join us. Uh, Miss Paint -a -Lot's Junk Journal group, pop over when this is finished <laughs> and, uh, and join up. And we'll be very glad to see you and we'll be very welcoming. So, yeah, this it comes in where I buy it from AliExpress, comes in five meter lengths. And it's all sorts of widths and all sorts of scallops on it and whatever. Just, you know, you just choose what you want. Be prepared for a bit of a wait from Ali. They don't arrive the next day like Amazon Prime. But the price offsets that. So if you can just plan ahead a little bit. For example, I always use this. Not specifically that uh, this design. But I always use that cream or white crochet lace in my uh, journals or you know, little folios, whatever I'm doing. So it's worth it to me to always order ahead. So it's by the time I've run out, I've got another lot coming through the letterbox. So that's that. I haven't sewn that down. I've just, because I would have ended up with a row of, of sewing stitches down there, which I didn't want, I've glued it on with Fabri-Tac. And then on the back of here, um, you all know that I've got these uh, wonderful dies, um, the Tim Holtz Sizex dies, Sizex dies, and when you cut out your dies, you're left with a piece of paper, which is just the most perfect stencil. Um, I can't find it at the moment, but it's just the sheet that you're left with after you've taken all your dies out. And if you're careful, that, there's a one that I've taken some butterflies out of. So I could place that down there and use that as a stencil Here's the page I've been using, and you see all the colours I've been trying out. Um, and it's not going to last forever, you know, it's just not. But it is going to last for a little while, and it's kind of the freebie. You know, you've got your dies out of the page, and this kind of makes... It's for nothing. You would have chucked it in the bin. So, you know, treat it carefully, and I think it'll last... Well, it's certainly going to last us this project long, so that's good for being free, I say. Um, yeah, and those two little butterflies that I've cut out, which, you know, you can use as well for stencils. So I like that. I like the blue. I just used um, this one for it, the Distress Ink, and it's tumbled glass. Archival ink would do any ink. Paper Mania, any ink that you have. I would say don't press on too hard because I kind of like the floaty appearance of it all. Um, of course, you might not. You do what you uh, think best for your journal, what you like to see. Uh, and you don't, you know, you don't have to stick to what I'm doing at all. So then this next piece is a piece of ordinary tracing paper. And it's the kind of tracing paper you'd get for your kids. We bought it for a pound for a pad at the pound shop. So it's not, you know, not expensive, not special in any way. And I just printed one of our pages that we're using, uh, the Scottish Gardens set. Printed it out onto there and it looks really pretty. And it's got a different feel to it, which is nice. So here we are onto one of our plain coffee stained pieces of paper, which has been coffee stained, folded in half to fit into our journal. And we've got another one of these gorgeous tags in it. I love that, it's beautiful. Um, and this is a piece of the wallpaper, you remember? I nicked some wallpaper. I'm hanging my head in shame. <laughs> I say nicked. 
I didn't nick it. You're allowed to take samples. I don't know if you're allowed to take samples to junk journal with. It specifically didn't say that, so, so I think I'm all right. Um, but I want to, I've used that as a page in this journal, and I wanted just to bring it through the journal a little bit. Um, so we've got some cohesiveness going on. I think that's always a good idea, not to introduce too many disparate things to your to your journal. Try and keep a little bit of cohesion going throughout it. And to that end, we're using these tags throughout the journal, so we've got them uh, all the same as well. So that's just a pocket, just the same as I showed you how to make. And here, uh, I, hope you, I hope the camera's picking it up, it's the same thing. It's that same free stencil that we've got. It's perfect for what I need because I'm using the dies as well. So they all um, match up. So I've, I've got the butterfly. These are stamps. The butterflies are stamps actually with this one. That's that's right. But I put my uh, stencil down and for that I've just used what I've been using to ink around the edges, which is the antique linen. Um, butterfly stamps are also the antique linen and put one of our gorgeous uh, tags in there which looks lovely and this has also got lace the same lace stuck down so um, this page here is made out of the remainder of this and it's just one piece stuck down and I wanted to just fold it over, but it's a different pattern on the other side. So I cut it off and sewed it on. And I wanted to use this rose, which was out of the roll of wallpaper that I did buy. Um, but it was taller than the pocket. So I've put it on anyway. Actually, it needs a bit more glue down there. Look at that. Um, I've put it on anyway because I quite like this stepped appearance. And I've just popped two of our smaller uh, tags that we made in behind there, I must remember that needs. Uh, see, this is the this is a perfect case in point. The uh, ordinary pockets that I tell you how to make have got a gusset in them, so they will take a bit of chunkiness. This pocket, it's it's got no gusset because I had nothing, no spare stuff to make the gusset with, so I've just glued it and I've popped these two tags in, and even they are putting strain on that. Whereas if that had had a gusset, they would have fitted in no problem. So now you see why I go rabbiting on about gussets all the time. <laughs> but it is a bit of a funny word, isn't it, really? It's a bit rude. <laughs> and here is this um, doily. And I'm still in two minds whether or not to include that. It just seems a bit fragile to me. It seems like it might get torn quite easily. And then it's in your journal and it's torn I don't know. I like the idea of it, but I'm not so sure I like the practicality of it. Uh, and then this page, this is one of our design pages. And this is a gorgeous little voile envelope. I got two of them from Kerry Roberts in with a lovely rack. Um, actually, it was in with her journal page for the collaborative journal. More on that later, guys. Don't go away. Um, and I looked at them and I thought, they are too nice just to go in my drawer. So I've used one here. I've glued it. I, I glued the back and then I put some acetate in because otherwise the front would have stuck to the back as well and I wouldn't have a pocket. And I've used two more of those little ATC cards, backed them, sewn around them, popped them in, in there like that. On the back I've also got another ATC card, um, but that's just for decoration really. Um, they just pop into there. And here's just a bit of, a um, little bit of fluff. So that's that. I've left the back of that um, design paper as it is. I love this. As you know, I love those forget-me-nots. And this is just, it's so pretty. And it would just be a shame to, to cover over it, I think, at this stage. Plus the fact we're getting quite a bit in here. So I think we're all right. You all right? Helen says she's guilty too after your last video. She went to walk past B&Q. <laughs> <laughs> Helen! <laughs> Sisters, Helen. <laughs> but it does say, doesn't it, on the front of the sort of draw thing, it says, please take a sample. Doesn't say what for. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, my next plan is to go to home base and just in case B and Q have got a sort of picture of me <laughs> at the till, don't serve this woman sort of thing, you know what I mean? So I'm going to home base next time. Right, this is the music paper, which if you remember was incredibly fragile. Uh, been around, uh, said on the front of the book since 1953, and that's even older than me, and I'm old. Um, so what I did was I sold around the entire thing in a little bit from the edge um, because I didn't trust sewing right on the edge. I thought it might just become perforated and peel off. Uh, so I sewed all the way around it, put some of this lace on it, uh, which I glued down because once again, I didn't want to sew so close to the edge. And the, the this bird here is the, it's a graphics fairy image. But if you pop over to our Facebook group, and I'll say it again, Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal group, these photographs, there's three of them of these songbirds sitting in beautiful flowers. Uh, and they're under the photos in our... They're not in the files, are they? They're in the photos, aren't they? They're in the photos, not the files. Yeah, they're in photos. Yeah, so just click on photos, have a look through, and you'll find there's three of them, print them out. What I did is a bit of a trick, and if you haven't been with me very long, you won't know about this kind of trick. Um, but we use a piece of A4 or whatever your um, copy of size paper is, and we put some tissue paper on the top, masking tape over both the top and bottom, and then print out onto the tissue paper, which in effect gives you homemade decoupage. So that's what I did with that. So I've decoupaged that onto there. I did another journal some time ago, I think it was a journal, and I used exactly this and I loved it so much. I think it you know, warrants getting out the cupboard again, really. It's nice, I like it. It says you'll be sharing a cell. <laughs> well, that's all right. We just talk junk journals all the time. I bet they won't give us a knife or anything like that, though, will they, to cut things out or scissors? <laughs> well, to be honest, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> you should only ever be let loose with a crayon. <laughs> He's so cruel to me. Um, this side is, is the same, except this time I used uh, some of this Tim Holtz Collage paper, he calls it. It's six yards long and it's about, I don't know, six inches wide, something like that. Yeah, six, six inches wide and six metres, six yards long. And it's gorgeous. It's got loads of these lovely, lovely, it's called aviary. Um, and, and actually for what it is, I don't think it's dear. I can't remember what, how much it was, but I know I didn't think it was horrendous. So I've stuck three of those on there. And you can see the music through them. I like it. Right, so this is the... Um, the card craft. May I ask what the measurements for the small tag template and the large one? You told us the measurements for the medium. Let's, let's find them. Where are they? They're white and they're around here somewhere. Now you're getting to see all the uh, all my grubby secrets. What I have just off camera. <laughs> ah, there's there they are. That's both of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's my bell. I, I ding that, and it's time for coffee. Oh glory! Yeah, time for coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna put that away, otherwise I'll catch it, and it'll be very annoying. Um, yeah, the templates. Let's just have a look at these. Six and a half by three and a half is the large one. The uh, that's the papa bear. This is the mama bear. Five and a half by three, and this is the baby bear, and it's four and a half by two and a half. And I actually find that they pretty much will get you through anything. Um, y you know. If you need a, a really large one or whatever, then you'll have to measure it and, and cut accordingly. The other thing that I have um, that you may wish to make for yourself is some templates for the corners. Um, if you have to make your own um, tag. So I've got just a credit card and the corners chopped off 
And if I was making my own tag out of a out of a um, oblong rectangle, I would just put that there, cut it off, flip it over, and then I know I'm going to get the same exact same angle on both. Um, and Mr. Fix it made me this. It's got four different angles on it. I'm, I'm angled up. Um, so that's them. Yeah, six and a half by three and a half, five and a half by three, four and a half by two and a half. And like I said, I think then those three will get you through most things. So that's that. So back to our journal. Ah, I got a load of die cuts descended upon me. Right. Um, so yeah, this is the page. This is the wallpaper that I could have almost got into trouble with. Uh, it's beautiful. And I have included in this because in the design pages themselves, the design papers, um, I can't even find a piece of it now. There we are, this page. <laughs> I found one that doesn't have any in, but there are hints of purple in the in our design papers. So I picked up on that and and I'm using this. It's not the full width. Um, it was never intended to be the full width. I just cut it off quite wide and then folded the extra bit, extra width from where I wanted it back on itself. Uh, and I did the same at both, both sides. They're slightly different, that's fine. That was um, what I meant them to be. And I took another piece of our book text and I forgot to ink it so I had to ink it afterwards which is a right fiasco and I forgot to sew around it so <laughs> but it still looks nice there it just needs a little bit of decoupage maybe to brighten its day uh, and I put a journaling card in there from our design uh, papers backed it it probably needs a little bit of something too but it goes in there and on the back of the wallpaper I've used um, shaded lilac through our free stencil thing. So that fits in there, so there's good journaling there. Uh, then this design sheet, which I'm going to leave because I like. And then we come on to this, which is another page of coffee stained paper. Now what I've put on here is what I'm going to show you this afternoon. It's just an envelope made from book pages. I've put some lace and a bit of ribbon on the top, but that's just a token start. We need more than that. And I've also put a bit of ribbon along there because the book pages are a bit fragile on their own. So just to give it a bit more strength, I've put a bit of ribbon there and I needed two pages. So I've had to overlap them there. Now, I'm not happy with that. You know, it doesn't look the prettiest. So when we come to do all our embellishments, that there needs a bit of uh, love. So what happens is, you can see I've been busy with my blue, my tumbled glass uh, stencils. I've gone a bit mad with them, haven't I really? But never mind. Um, and that just, it goes like that. That's the inside bit. It just flops over there. And you can get a journaling card or something to suit yourself. I've just made a journaling card. I back all of my journaling cards, um, otherwise they're a bit fragile. And I've sewn all the way around it with a zigzag stitch. That just goes in there and it gets a, a what do you call these, safety pin on the edge. That's just a bit tight, that one. I don't want to turn my book page. And I will show you how to decorate your safety pins so it's not just a safety pin it'll be so much more um right so that's the that's that page there the coffee stained page which you can journal on no problem i mean i have put that was a stencil um little roses but you easily easily write over that here comes mr f with a coffee and i haven't even got room on my desk for it well you rang the bell Oh, I rang the bell. Yes, that's true. Thanks very much, my love. That's lovely. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, that's the back of the envelope, which will be pretty up, so it'll look nice on that page. Then you've got that for journaling. Then we've got these cards. You remember I found a box of 
cards with this really you couldn't have asked for a more fitting picture than that it's it's lovely um and i've left that plain inside to journal with just a little bit of um stenciling because i can't help myself i'm going through this phase of needing to stencil everything now then we had newspaper in it if you remember i showed you the pack i got it out of but it was thin it was so thin it was worrying me to death so what I've done is I've taken an ordinary piece of paper. Um, this is coffee stained. Actually, what I used was white. Um, and I just folded it around the paper, cut it, cut it down a little bit, cut the paper down a little bit because I didn't want it to be full width, as you can see. Um, and just folded the newspaper, stuck it to the to this side down. Not that side, that's God. So this side down and folded it over and glued it all down. So I have now, although it is still newspaper, newsprint, it's now supported by that paper. So I'm much happier with that. And I put lace on both sides. So that brings us to our centre. And this is our centre spread here, which is so beautiful. It's really gorgeous, but that's not so great, I don't think. Actually, that means black leather. So I don't, I don't know where that comes from. I don't, specialists in black leather and something and something, but I don't know what that means. That's definitely black leather though. So um, I'm gonna have to do something on that page or fold it the other way like that so I've got that really pretty one there and then I've got these dodgy ones well this particularly dodgy one that I can make a spread for in the middle with pockets and stuff and then fold out to that one which is gorgeous so yeah that's we'll do that at some stage uh, that's the back of my newsprint the head of the family springs lemon cheese mm nice uh, that's the back of the card and on the back uh, there was no image so I photocopied it now guys I don't know about um, copyright infringement rules as far as this one goes I couldn't find a copyright on it I looked and looked and looked um, if I'd felt at all dodgy about it I would have taken another card and stuck the front of it onto there as it was I just copied it and stuck that there Please be careful in your junk journals about copyright rules. They're laws, they're not rules. And you mustn't infringe them, no matter how tempting it is. And so with that in mind, I would say be very careful about things that you use off Pinterest. Um, a lot of them are copywritten. Um, just be careful. You know, do your utmost to work out if there's a copyright on it. Apparently a croupon is a type of high-quality leather from the rear of the hide. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> it's you getting... said something about croupon and... Yeah, croupon. Uh, courier. C-O-U-R-R. Yeah. O-I-E-S. Strapple belt. So I'm guessing it's they do leather. Well, leather, it says it says articles of B O U. Blow me! I've got my good specs on as well. R R E L L E R I E. No. Saddlery. Oh, right. Okay. So <laughs> that's kind of made it slightly better, actually, in my mind. But even so, I'm, I don't think I want to be advertising black leather straps. <laughs> I don't know what came over the girl that decided to put that there. But never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use that as a place to put our center spread. So it'll be fine. Uh, and then that gives us that lovely, th lovely, beautiful page, that one. Uh, so, yeah, the back of the card, the copyright issues, just be very careful. 
Now this page, it's the back of the uh, other um, coffee stained page and I've been at it again with the blue in the stencil. And this is a, a template that I have. I don't know which kit it came in, but you know, I said to you the other day, if you ever uh, download a kit and it's got envelopes in it or anything that you think might be useful to you in the future, cut it out for what you're using it for and uh -huh. and put it onto card and put it in your template box. I actually have a template box. Uh, and then it's always there for you for, for any kit you want to use. This uh, this is on card, but I, I can't find it anyway. Um, so that's that. I'm not sure if I didn't put this up on my group before, actually. Uh, ignore all that. That's just rubbish. Uh, but that's the template that I used. And it comes up to this point. And I've stuck that down, but I now have this pocket in here. Now, what you can do is just stick around there, and then you'll get a tag in the back. But this book's becoming a bit chunky now, so I'm trying not to add as many tags as is humanly possible. So I've used some of the blue from the um, coordinating kit that I'm using and some of the pink. And isn't that pretty? You know, just for a very plain, straightforward page, it's very pretty. I love this. I love it. Um, and then on the back of that, you watched me make this. This is a tummy tuck belly band to other people but we think that's a little crass on our group so we call them tummy tucks um, it's got a little bit of design paper down there and this book page which I'm trying to get throughout the the journal just to you know make it all cohesive uh, so that's nice bit of um, the design paper there this is on about herbal stuff so I reckon we're okay with that this is the other side the wallpaper uh, page with another journaling card in from the uh, design paper very nice like it um, the uh, another birdie there from the same source another birdie there some more design paper the other side of the doily now then here is what I want to talk to you about really today this envelope uh, then the tracing paper that is the other side of the uh, scrapbook and paper pad, um, which is a little pocket, a gus proper gusseted pocket with two of our um, baby bear size tags in it. Really pretty decoupage, gorgeous. Bit of lace down the side of there. Um, and that's the same as I did on the back of the other page, but I do like it. And then this, which is our last page, uh, has it's the design paper a uh, tummy tuck struck belly band and two envelopes in there and they are proper envelopes a little velcro closing and they've got paper in so you can journal so that's where we stand at the minute guys so hopefully you'll have something your version of this where you know where you've decided to put your pockets etc etc that's your, that's up to you, you know, of course. But I just wanted to talk to you about um, this envelope here. Now it's the same as the one on the other side. So that's it, it's two pages joined together and I've put a bit of um, froth along there just to strengthen that, that edge. And that comes down exactly to there so it just needs a bit of um, frippery frippery is what it needs um, and then sewn all well sewn all around and then a bit of frippery probably but what you could do um, just to bring that illicit wallpaper <laughs> through a little bit more this is all I've got left of it because I wasn't too greedy really I was quite greedy but not mega greedy so this is what I've got left of it I'm just going to roll it the other way and see if I can get it to lie flat all you've got left after we wallpapered the spare bedroom <laughs> yeah something like that so this it, it, it's directional it goes up this is the top so 
I was thinking if I cut out a piece that was the same as the envelope size that I want, is that all right? Am I inside all my tears? Yeah, I think so. Um, and just make a mark where that is. And then cut that out. So just out of interest, I'll tell you what this measures. Yours might measure completely differently. Don't don't worry if it does. This measures nine and a half long ways, the way that we fold it. And the width of it is seven and three eighths. Now you can make yours any width that you want. Let's just see where seven and three eighths brings us on this. Um, so, yeah, so it brings us to there. So we've got probably an inch spare. If you wanted to make it smaller, I, I think that might even look better, to be honest. Um, but this is the measurements I've got, so that's, that's what I'm going to stick to. It's getting a bit chunky, this now. Um, so I've got to take, you know, take care in adding stuff willy-nilly. Right, let's get this cut out. I wasn't sure if we'd get round to embellishing today, you know, making it all pretty. So I've got loads of stuff of every blinking, everything you can think of, everything I could think of that I thought I might use. So if I was clever, I could probably leave a little bit of this paper. Let's just cut that. Now, for the new folk watching us, possibly for the first time, I don't know when the cutter is. Um, here it is. We use quilting rulers and rotary cutters. That's my preference. I know some people use craft knives and rulers. Some people just use scissors. Whatever you've got that you're comfortable with, that's absolutely fine. Um, I was a quilter for many, many, many years. And so, A, I had the rulers, and B, I'm comfortable using them. But I do think they make sense for junk journaling because you can straighten up your edge and you can straighten up your bottom so you know that you're, um, you're dead straight and nothing's going to surprise you later, later on. And sometimes your eye does deceive you. It's, uh, it's amazing, actually. So I want that there. I'm going to have to come off that inch line. It's annoying me. This ruler is so old. It's it's worn away, actually. So that's there. And I want to come to there. OK. I think we're not far off square there. Right, so... That leaves me with that. But you know, that's enough for a couple of pockets. I don't think I've got room for them in this journal, but it's amazing what you can get out of um, a, piece, a sample piece of wallpaper. Thank you very much, b and I appreciate your generosity. So just square that up along there, cut that off. That is waste bit frivolous actually because I could have done something with it. So what you need to do is fold this up and fold that down. Now really it's easier if you fold the top bit down first and I'll tell you in a second the measurement that I'm folding that at. I'm folding it at two inches exactly. Blimey. And just burnish that down with your bone folder. And then this wants to come up, but don't bring it up exactly to that fold line, because if you do, you'll find it really difficult getting things in and out. So drop it down a little bit, but make sure that your, your top flap is covering it. So if we brought it down to there, for example, 
we've still got plenty room plenty room to get things in and out so line it up with your side so you know your square and put your crease in there are loads of ways of making envelopes this is the way i make mine i'm not saying it's right or it's wrong so that's that of course the pattern is upside down for us here but on the back it's going the right way so you've got to be prepared to have a bit of an upsy downsy thing i don't think it looks too bad on that at all actually it's um it's quite shiny and it, the shiny it takes your eye rather more than anything else now this is going to be um viewable so it needs something on it so let's put some stencils on it it's my my solution to everything for this journal so i'm going to use the um shaded lilac one And I think I must have used this one. These um, sponges. I'm sorry you guys that know all this. But this is really meant to be for people who don't know much about junk journaling yet. Just at the start of the journey. So I know that I've told you all of this at least twice before. And you've probably fallen off to sleep as I speak. But I get these. I call them boobies because they look like boobies to me. <laughs> So I get these boobies from AliExpress. I think you get four in a pack. There's numerous ones actually on Ali. But they come like that. Uh, four like that. And they seem to describe them as powder puff. So maybe you'll have more look if you search for powder puff. But they're great. They're a really good density for inking around things and they're darn cheap they do eventually sort of the end sort of phrase a bit like that um but actually even the tim holtz uh, felt pads start to fray after a while so i like these and then i can have one for every color that's my one for tumbled glass that's my one for the lilac color that's my one for the antique linen um so it's easy for me to see straight away what uh which ink which goes with which ink so there that's that so let's just put some bit of fanciness along here you don't want too much ink on your on your thing you want well i don't i want it to be more of a whisper than a shout just a hint nice little hint like that that's lovely let's put this great big daisy there shall we drop that down a little bit I'm so delighted to get something for nothing, you know what I mean? This would have been in the bin. Deborah says she downloaded the AliExpress app. Yeah, that's... <laughs> See, when you finish looking through Etsy for all the papers that you desperately need, then you can move on to Ali <laughs> and look at all the things that you desperately need. Just beware, some of them um, are free postage, some of them have postage and some of the postage can catch you out. So always check that you, you know, I, I only ever buy things that are free postage, to be honest with you. And be prepared to wait. And you have to be prepared to wait. Yeah, they're not going to drop through your letterbox like Amazon Prime does. That's what I was saying earlier. I tend to sort of order things that I use all the time. I order weeks in advance. So when I've finished one. I've got another one popping through the letterbox. So we just need one more on that other side. Let's use that one. It's like giving yourself happy mail. Well, it is most of the time because it's really inexpensive because I don't buy expensive things. You know, I buy like lace and stamps and stuff like that. So there we are. We've got uh, just a little bit of interest. For when you flap the the flap open when you do the, the floppy flap. forget it when you do the thing you know what i mean um right so let's have a little look see who's on hilda davidson my goodness me hilda i can't go into it hilda because it's going to make me cry actually um except to say thank you very much 
I appreciate your kindness so much. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Nathania. Junk journaling. Let's tear. I'm missing that. Nathania. Sorry. Donna. Hello, Donna. How are you doing? And Pat. I hope that you're still doing all right after your little tumble up the stairs. When I was a kid, people used to say if you fell upstairs, it meant there was going to be a wedding. So I'll watch the space. Um, the card craft. Thank you. Uh, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. How are you doing? Uh, fold it. Ah, OK. You'll see the pretty side. Right. OK. Uh, downloaded the AliExpress app. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right, so the next thing to do is to sew it, probably, I would say. Um, and I need to sew this edge first and then sew around it all closed. So I'm just going to take this to the machine. <laughs> I couldn't help it, it was there. <laughs> and just sew along that top. Um... Yeah, that's right. I keep pushing my pedal further and further away and now I'm like hanging on by my toes which is why it's not going very quickly I'm going to have to drag it forwards I think it's just can't reach it? oh yes I see Right, so I'm not bothering tying the stitches off at the beginning and end because I'm going to be stitching over it anyway, so. Snip your ends off. There we are. So now what I'm going to do is sew all around what you can see. Maybe I should ink that first, do you think? I think that wouldn't be a bad plan. I don't like inking after I've sewn because... The ink gets stuck on the stitches um, and I don't like that. So I'm going to ink all of this because I, I bet you you would see the white on the edges if I don't. Uh, and I don't like that very much at all. These um, foam ones from Ali, they do... It's easier to do that sort of inking, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't need to ink that. You know, with the, the Tim Holtz ones, I, I feel that I was always doing that. Whereas with this, I can actually get good inking just by skimming it over. If I'm making any sense whatsoever, which I don't. So, I'm, you've got to start somewhere. So, I'm going to start at this bottom corner. Done good duty this wallpaper. And I did get other ones that I haven't shown you. <laughs> so right around it, up to the top. If you're sewing, if you're not sewing your journal, then obviously don't. But I do like a sewn look, as you all know. Now make sure that that is really flat before you sew it. Because if it's not and it's wrinkled, you won't get it out. just reverse at the end over the first few stitches that I did so it ties them in and it ties it ties all that off right so there we are we've got a little envelope it's nice isn't it and the idea is that it's going to go over the side of a of one of our pages behave yourselves people. 
um, pretend this is a page. So it's going to go over like that and it's going to have a safety pin paper clip there with a like a journaling card in. That's the plan, but it probably needs a little bit of um, titivation. So let's have a look and see what we can do to it. I mean, it's quite it's quite bold as it is, but I do like the fact that we have been using the book pages throughout. I like that we've got everything coordinating with them. So let's have a look and see if we can use the book pages to do something uh, with this. I'm using my bone folder there to rub it down because when you stitch, and I know some of you would be heart sick of hearing me say this, but when you stitch, effectively what you're doing is punching a hole with the needle. And on the top, on the top bit of paper, it's all right because it punches like that. But underneath, a bit like a gunshot, it comes out. Exit wound. Yeah, it's the exit wound, is right. And you, you end up, you can't really see them, but with lots of bits of paper sticking up where each needle's gone through. So if you just take your bone folder and push it down over that row of stitches, the back, the front will be fine, just the back, it just pushes some of those holes back down and it neatens it up a bit. So uh, just a little, a little tip for you there. Right, so let's get a page from our book. One that's got lots of text on it. And I like the idea of having a little bit here in there and a little bit here and probably on the back as well. I don't think, I think it'll be all right. I don't think we're covering up too much of the paper. Mmm, delicious. Um, so let me take off that uh, the wide borders on each side because we don't need them. So if you're using a quilting ruler, line your marks up along the bottom edge and then you'll be sure that you square uh, on your cut. Same thing here. Line your marks up. It should be fine. Right, so let's just have a look and see how much we need. So if I bring it in, how much is that? I'm determined to use a ruler that I can't see the marks on. It's quarter of an inch. So I'm saying that I'm going to bring this in about quarter of an inch all the way around. So I don't want that bit at the top. So do you think if I asked you nicely, you could sharpen me a pencil, please? Because all my now that's a 2B, so it's really blunt anyway, but I can't find the other one. So I'm going to make a mark there at the top of where the text is and make that mark about quarter of an inch in from the side and I think that's about there as well so let's cut that actually where's my little ruler a little six inch ruler that I can't actually see the markings on so it's there thanks very much could you do the other one please thanks I've been meaning to do them for ages That smell of, of pencil sharpening, it's, it's very, it's evocative. It's really reminding me of when I was at school. And if, you, if you're sort of in the doghouse, so to speak, you, um, <laughs> you had to sharpen all the class's pencils and the spares. <laughs> Just remembered about that. So, yeah, that's lovely. That's just a nice... So I want to bring it into there and then, thanks my love, and then quarter of an inch there, so to there. I'd say that's fine. So let's cut that off. And we should be doing okay. So that's to there. Let's get everything else lined up. Right. 
two more blue diamond. There. That's, oh, this is an inch and a half, which I don't know why I'm shocked about because I wanted a quarter of an inch all the way around. <laughs> so it should be an inch and a half, but it actually is. So I'm going to, I intend to put that there like that. I like that. Um, and this piece here, which is the same width, so we should be cooking on gas. Look at that. That is exactly the right dimensions. What can I say? <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe, I can't believe that actually worked. You might have to cut yours, of course. Because I bet you any money you haven't got the same dimensions as me. <laughs> so, right, let's pop that there. So I'm just going to uh, use glue stick to glue that down. It's just paper onto paper, so it'll be fine. Good job you fell over the dog. You're all very quiet today. You're all all right. I hope you're all all right. Maybe you're getting bored with this uh, series. Not long to go. Now. I'm just going to pop that on this top flap. That's about right there. Because I didn't ink it. I wonder if I can get that off. Yes, is the answer. Oh, don't you just hate it when you forget to ink? I do, yes, I hate it. We are concentrating. Goodness me, Pat. Don't concentrate too much. Right, so I'm hoping that I've still got enough glue to stick that. It's not the world's best bit of inky either. Right, let's put that down. I think we're okay. I think it'll be okay. It's going to have something on it anyway. You know me, guys. Less is always better. Uh, more is always better. Sometimes I do actually say to Mr. F, do you think that needs anything? And he'll say, well, do what you do. More is always more. <laughs> I'm going to glue on this side because I quite like that. It's a bit more full of text. Make sure you get around the edges. So which way is the text yet? Okay. Carol Beedin says thank you from a beginner journal maker. She appreciates it. Oh, that's exactly who it's aimed at. I am so pleased that you're getting something out of it, Carol. I really am. I've forgotten to ink that as well. What is wrong with me today? I bet you were all sitting there shouting, ink it! Yeah, just didn't hear you guys, didn't hear you. Deborah says she's not bored, she's watching with focus. Ooh. And Flo says she's not bored, it's sheets and towels day and you're keeping a company. Sheets and towels sounds like a lot of folding. Folding, folding. But in our house that would mean no ironing. Actually whatever you're washing in our house means no ironing. Unless it's a dress shirt for Mr F. Pretty much nothing gets ironed, I don't think. Right, let's have another bash at this then, now I've inked it. Just want to make sure that it's in line with that. Yeah, kind of, Carol, the rule kind of is cut it and ink it. That, that's the rule. I say that all the time and then I promptly forget. But try and remember because... If you've inked part of it and then you haven't got part of it inked, it kind of stands out a little bit. So, 
we need some on the back now. I think you can still see enough of that wallpaper there to know what it is and to know it coordinates with something else that we've got in our journal. Don't, don't you? I think that's all right. Mr. Fixit's nodding his head, so that's good by me. Another piece of text. I'm just going to cut the, all the edges off that I don't want. Charity shops. Um, Carol, I've no idea where, you, where you're from, if you're this side of the pond or the other. Um, here we have charity shops and we have lots of charity bookshops actually, um, which are great. They're really good if you're looking for um, books to gut, uh, to make, you know, get the book boards from. Let me just check. Where do I need that to come to? Go back, go back. It'd be better if I just marked this, wouldn't it, instead of wobbling around in thin air. So I want that quarter of an inch in, and I want that about quarter of an inch in, so about there. So let's just trim that off there. We're having a rare dry day here. You all right there? What are you looking at? Is um, something I'm wrong? I'm trying to decide the, the, the direction you put the text up. Would it need to go on a page on the right hand side or the left hand side? Well, that's probably quite good because the page that I've got already, the text's upside down. <laughs> so I might have just saved myself here. That is, Mr. Fixit's made a very valuable point there, as, as, as ever he's on the ball. This text is going this way, so it would be best on a on that side of a page, if you understand me. Um, the page that I've already got in here, I noticed earlier on when I was looking through, is... Um, I can't even remember where I put it. There. It's upside down. So that would be better the other way round. And now we've got this one. No, that's still not going to work, is it? It's still going to be upside down. Oh no, if I put it on that side. Yeah, see what you mean. Yeah, okay. Be careful which way your text goes, guys. Unless you put the smaller flap behind and the yeah. bit in front. Yes. Then you'd be the Then right. it would work. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see what you mean. We'll talk about it soon. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> we'll talk about it when we're not filming. <laughs> right, so we've got the right width. We just need the right length for this piece. Here, I want it quarter of an inch in and quarter of an inch in. Just give it a mark there. Cut that off. I think this is a really, really um, nice journal to do if you have never made a journal before because you can take out of it what you want to and what you think you can cope with. You can watch the video again and again if you want to. Right, so hang on. Where's this going? It's going there. So that needs to be the right way up there. Okay. Um, you know, learn how to do pockets, I would say. Learn how to make tags and journaling cards, both of which are on uh, the earlier videos, numbers one, two and three, I think. Um, so it's worth going to have a look and, and make yourself some tags. Then once you've got some tags made, you will want to make a journal because you want to put them down somewhere, you know, put them into somewhere. Ah, ink, guys. Come on. Oh, I hate glue on my fingers as well. But never mind. I seem to be doing my best to forget to ink things. Even an idiot would have learnt by now. It's so true. Even a monkey. Well, I beseech you to talk, do and get it right. <laughs> all together. 
Right, so that's going that way. It's the same the text, the same way as the other text that we've got. I wanted about a quarter of an inch in, just about there, so it should all line up. There we go. No drama here, people. No drama at all. Right, let's give that a bit of a flatten out with the with your bone folder. Make sure it's all stuck down. Right, now we have an envelope. Now, guys, we have ourselves an envelope. Now, the decorating of this is entirely up to you. Um, I've got some really, really gorgeous... I'm calling it aubergine because it's kind of not really purple, um, which I could put there. And I've got some bows. Well, let's just put a little butterfly there and you can see that even like that, if you put some little stones down there, it, it's it's lovely. doesn't need much more than that at all. Carol says she's from the US of A. The US of A. I'm from the United States in the state of Iowa. It's a rural area, so not a lot of stores. I'm lucky that I do have a Hobby Lobby close by. Our charity shops aren't that great. Um, Deborah says it's the same in New Hampshire. Well, we live in the back of beyond, actually. Um, in fact, as Mr. Fixit likes to say, if you go to the back of beyond and keep going, then you'll find us. Um, but oddly enough, there's a, a village about eight miles away and it's got a charity bookshop. Um, and it's always very, very well stocked. I think the people in that village must be real readers. So it's amazing what you can find there. And I love having a good look around it and seeing what I can see. So yeah, as I say, if you just do that, um, excuse me drinking guys, it's just uh, even my throat gets, gets dry after a while. And I'm sure somewhere I had a pack of, um, heaven knows where it's gone. Um, I did have some bowls that were the same colour, but never mind. So yeah, even that, some little stones there would be nice. But I wanted to show you something else that I, I have that I've done today that I alluded to earlier. I've lost it. It was on the top. Um, my decoupage sheets. No, my, these ones. So this is homemade decoupage. I, I was talking to you about it uh, earlier on, um, how to do it. But this is, this is it in, as it comes off the printer. Um, it's a piece of your ordinary copier paper and then it's got some tissue laying on top of it. Now this is the tissue that you'd get probably from Hobby Lobby somewhere like that that people use for um, wrapping presents in. It's not the back of napkins although some people on our group have done it with the back of napkins and it's worked fine. Um, the one thing I would say is because we're going to use it for decoupage you need to be doing it on a laser printer if you have one. Because if you do it on an inkjet, um, the ink doesn't set enough to allow you to, to uh, collage it, to um, decoupage it. Unless you need it to dry for several days. Yeah, there is some discussion about whether you can get inkjet stuff to actually set. And I think we decided in the group that if you sprayed it with a light covering of hairspray, it actually sealed it. Um, and then you could use it for decoupage. I don't know. We fortunately enough we have a laser printer, so uh, this is this is what I did. Or well, what Mister Fix it did actually. Ordinary copy of paper, and you can see the masking tape down both ends, holding the tissue paper in place. And then we manually feed it through the uh, laser printer because I don't. I think if you were to do that, you know, the way some printers do. Uh, you might get a crease, but you might not. I don't know. It's worth experimenting. So where's our lovely envelope gone? <laughs> Here it is. So I wondered if some of our homemade decoupage might look quite nice on there. Because we did have those... Um, the tags that we made. The, these ones. That we put text on and decorated like that with bits of decoupage. So I wondered if I could do a similar thing with our 
um, homemade decoupage which will definitely match because it's one of the design sheets that we're using. So I'm just going to tear some bits off here. I'm going to tear around there because that's a really nice colour. I'm, I'm sure I'm preaching to the converters here, but um, don't ever cut your, your decoupage napkins or tissue paper or whatever. The eye perceives that as just being a straight line and being wrong sort of thing. So uh, try and tear them if you can. I think that's quite nice actually. It's quite subtle. Let me just tear along here. You might want to make yours brighter, stand out more. It's really up to you. This is the joy. No, even if you start off with exactly the same things, no two junk journals will end, end up being the same. Because um, we've all we're all different. We all have different likes and dislikes. Some people like a lot of colour. Some people like the more muted tones. Some people like retro 70s, the 1940s, whatever. And it will come through in your work. It's amazing. So I could put that there. That would look quite nice there. And then I've got this. Now I'm not touching the back at the moment. I'm just concerning myself with the front of the envelope. Just now. Now, as well as the bounteous gift I got from Hilda today, I also got a delivery from uh, Amazon. And it was this. Um, it's Tim Holtz Distress Collage Medium. Now, it's matte, and it really is matte. And if you... If you're not exactly junk journaling on a shoestring, I would recommend that you buy this. It is simply the best decoupage pay, uh, glue there is. There's nothing that I have tried, haven't tried them all, so I shouldn't really make that proclamation, but it's just fabulous. It, it, it just works. So let's put it to the test and see. How about I put that along there maybe? Maybe the other way around. So all I'm doing really is just prettying this up. I will add more to it. You know I will. Let's just, let's just see what that looks like once we get it stuck down. So look at that. Whole pot of it. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not the cheapest. But it works. So I'm just going to put some... Oh, that's just a little bit too wide for there, so I'll put that piece there. So I'm just going to put a little bit down where it's going to go. And you'll feel, your first brush full of it, you'll feel it's just a joy. And Pat says she likes the vintage one, the Tim Holtz. Yes, I like that. I have that too, but I just didn't think it was right for for this one. So that's that. And you see with the Tim Holtz, you get the chance to sort of lift it up and reposition it, which you don't get with um, any other glue that I have tried. With my Mod, mod Podge that I've watered down to death, you can do that with it. So there we are. I mean, it's really, really easy to do that. That's our very own decoupage from our design sheet. Um, and I think it worked really well. So I'd like to think that you could have a go with that. If you put a question on the group about how do people use inkjet printers for decoupage, printing decoupage, somebody will help you. I know they will. They're a great gang of people. Honestly, just the best. I'm so fortunate. So there we are. That's that one down. Ordinarily, I'd be getting the cling film out and 
you know squashing it down there's no need to with this stuff <laughs> so she and you just know this one's going to go horribly wrong let's hope not eh So there we are. It's not every day that I praise the Tim Holtz products. Sometimes I think they somewhat trade on the name a little. Um, and there are alternatives out there. For this, for decoupaging, there is no alternative really. If you want the best, it's as far as I know, this is the bee's knees. Right, so that's that. What do you think, guys? Let me bring it up so you can have a good look. Okay, so with that in mind, your homework for the weekend. And don't forget, I will be back again tomorrow and Sunday at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock UK time, where we will be finishing this project that's over to my right, which is this one. Uh, can you reach it? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it's this project. I'll show you it in a little minute. Um, but for your homework for... Thank you. With regards to this, um, I bought the paper. Now what do I do? Uh, I would say make yourself a couple of envelopes to fit onto pages. Um, you know suitable pages uh make make sure you've got all your pockets done and placed where you kind of want them audition them first go through and see if that looks nice just safety pin them to your page first and then go through and make sure that you haven't used up all your pockets in the first half and you've got none left for the second half spread them out you know if you've got one nice blue pocket in the first half of your journal try and get a nice blue pocket for the second part maybe as well um or, you know using blue any color and then you've got um the wallpaper or another paper that you've folded in the edges of i don't know why i'm trying to describe this to you when i actually have a journal that's bizarre where's the journal oh here <laughs> oh that's funny right so let's just check we'll do a checklist Right, so we've done our tags. I think everybody pretty much has done the tags. They're the large Papa Bear size. Uh, and if you haven't done them, go back to the, I think it was number one, where we, of the series, and you'll see how to do them. Um, make all your pockets. I'm popping that in there because I think I'm going to put that in there. Do your journaling cards. If you've got your pockets that way on and you want journaling cards. Attach your lace to the places where you want it. Print off on tracing paper if you want to. You can do that on an inkjet. It's perfectly fine. Um, another pocket, another tag, some more lace. It's, it's repetition. To get the hang of it, you'll be laughing. Um, this little pocket here, it's a flat pocket. And look, it's sprung a leak. So I'm not a, I'm, I don't really like these flat pockets. I like them with the gussets in the way I showed you. Um, there's an inclusion of a doily there. You, you may want to do that. You may not. This is one of these lovely little foil bags uh, that I got from Kerry and it's gorgeous. Um, you may not have them, so you may just want to make another pocket there. Or you may want to leave that design paper uh, with nothing on, like I have there. This um, image, uh, not this one, this is Tim Holtz uh, aviary tissue paper. But the other three birds, the images from the graphics fairy, or if you go over to our group, Miss Paint-A-Lot's um, Junk Journal group, you'd be very welcome there. And in our uh, photos, you will find these. And I printed them off using the method that I showed you here, using tissue paper on copier paper and feeding it through uh, and then decoupaging it on. And I've sewn around the music paper and put lace on the side. This is the wallpaper that I was saying, I folded it over. So I made this sort of long pocket, I guess, long tuck down there. Uh, and I made a journaling card to go in there. 
that is just so pretty um i've left that uh, free because it's lovely this is an envelope and you've just watched me make one so you know that one could go there and it would be like that held with a safety pin and then you need a journaling card to pop in there because the safety pin will hold that uh, you can stencil if you want to like i have on the coffee stained paper it does jazz it up a bit and it does just give that impression that you just cared enough to do it um, that's just a card you might find that you have some nice cards if they're written in but you really want to use them just back them with some coffee stained paper and it'll, they'll, they'll be good to go that's newspaper as i said to you it's very very fragile so i put a piece of paper inside and put the newsprint back in front so i've still got the newsprint and i put lace down the side and this is just a journaling uh, design sheet from the, the pack that we're using so really all in all this is the envelope if you can't find it guys let me know and I'll put it on the group the template on the group and um, then you'll be able to use, draw it out onto cardboard so you've always got that template uh, these need embellishing and you can embellish if you go if you, as you go if you want to. I'm just kind of saving it. I'll, I will do some embellishments, but I'll save some to do uh, on 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 a YouTube video, so as we all know what we're up to. Uh, blank page. That's the other side of that tuck with another journaling card. The music sheet with the lace, design paper, doily. This is waiting for something, and I think it's waiting for an envelope. So we'll see about that. Tracing paper. The other side of the uh, scrapbooking paper with a pocket and two baby bear tags in it and stenciling tummy tuck and two envelopes and that's your lot so that's it's all doable i think you've got the knowledge now to get to that stage i'm pretty sure you have if you're stumbling over anything and you're not sure what what's going on ask on the group and i'll be more than helpful or, or ask underneath this video I'll, I'll I'll be more than helpful. I'll be more than happy to help you, I should say. Um, I hope I'll be more than helpful. That would be nice. Uh, but crack on and then I will see you one day. I'll pop up one day next week and we'll see where we're up to with the embellishments and stuff. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. I don't feel like we've got through an awful lot today, but we've got through something and it's been nice to have your company. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm back off to watch the cricket. And I'll see you tomorrow when we are doing this project, which is slightly more grown up, I think. I think there's a bit more to this. Um, this, For example, that flips that way. It's a pocket there. Um, what else have we got here? This, That's a different envelope with tags in. Um, and then this, which is a fabric covered pocket. And it's got all sorts of goodies in. Look at these. They're beautiful. So we made that last week. So um, I'll be back at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, same channel, Miss Paint a Lot. Um, please join if you can. Um, there's always something to be learnt. And I'm not saying I'm a font of wisdom because I'm absolutely not. And some of you produce the most stunning work. And I know that because you've been sending in pages for our collaborative journal. And I'm blown away by them, frankly. Pat says you were going to say something about the collaborative journal. Pat, you read my mind. That's witchy. That's really witchy. On our group, and I'm going to say it again because I want you to join. <laughs> on our group, which is called Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal Group. So it's quite easy. Miss Paint-A-Lot's Junk Journal Group. Um, we are... Oh, Everybody that wants to, there's absolutely no pressure here, guys, but everybody that wants to is making a page for a journal in their own style, in their own way. Uh, the only thing I will say is it's got to reach me by the 14th of August. So if you're overseas, um, bear that in mind because it does take a little while to get here. Um, the only kind of stipulation is it's got to be about birds, and butterflies or just birds or just butterflies whatever combination of the two 
or one, birds and or butterflies. Um, and what I'd like you to do is to make a uh, spread So you take one piece of your regular copy paper, um, whatever that, whatever size that is. So whatever size that is, that's what I would like you to do. Fold it in half and I'd like you to decorate one, two, three, four. Okay. Now, bear in mind that when it goes in the journal, you might not be seeing both of your things at the same time. So don't make it a one that goes across both pages, you know. Do that and do that. Um, so it's a sheet of A4 folded in, in half. I'm saying a sheet. It can be anything you like. You know, that I'm just talk, referring to the size here. So you'd have four sides. This side, that side, that side, and that side. And post them to me. My address is in the rack list um, on the group. And I will do my level best to make them into a lovely journal. And... I don't think I'm going to have very hard work to do because all the pages I've received so far have been, well, been gorgeous. And people have taken time out of their busy schedule to do that. And at the end of it, what we'll do is after I've made the journal, we'll have a draw where all your names will go into a Siri hat <laughs> and Siri will select someone randomly and that person will get to keep all of our work forever. And I think that's lovely. I love the concept. And I'm very grateful to the people who have already um, sent things uh, in. Thank you very much for that. So if you want to be part of that, nip over to Miss uh, Paint a Lot's Junk Journal group. You'll find all the information you need there. And if you can't, just ask a message and uh, somebody will be very glad to help you, I'm sure. So there you go. I've talked myself to a standstill just about. That takes some doing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is tomorrow this this project here um two o'clock uk time saturday and sunday and this is the slightly it's a slightly more grown-up version really you know we're using more tucks and folds and pleats and creases and blah 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 so i'll see you then if you can if not have a lovely lovely weekend and i'll pop up one day next week with this project so we've got two projects on the go all right guys thank you very very much indeed for joining me again bye